Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. What I mean by a little different is I'm going to be doing Christmas in July. I thought this was a really cool idea that I came up with and I'm going to show you the items that are needed for this project, which if you follow me on social media, which is down below, you'll have seen all the items already needed for this project and you can also get that list on the community tab so let's get into it so I'm gonna be making a snowflake decor piece and I'm gonna show you right now what you need so you're gonna need two of these honeycomb shaped decor pieces it's tabletop decor and it's got little honeycomb shapes three of them so you're gonna need two of those you are gonna need some Christmas stickers which I got these from Dollar Tree this Christmas stickers I believe I got from Walmart, but they don't have to be the exact one. You just need some stickers for Christmas. I'm sure Dollar Tree had them, has them. You can get them at Hobby Lobby would have them right now, even Michael's probably. But so you're gonna need some Christmas stickers. You're gonna need a light blue. I am using Waver, uh, Pull by Waverly. And you're gonna need a white, which I'm gonna use Snow White by Waverly. And of course, you know, napkin, paint brushes, and you're gonna need glue. I'm gonna be using hot glue so I can show you what to do, but if you don't feel like that will hold it together enough, you can use a different glue. Also, which I forgot to put on there, you m might wanna get something for a hanger, and I'm gonna use this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree last year sorry couldn't think of it so if you want to make a holder you're gonna need that so let's get right on to it so the first thing you're gonna to want to do with this because it is dark stuff and I should have mentioned that too is you're gonna to want to get some sandpaper sanding block something and you want to just go over and just sand it down so it's not so dark that it'll come through the paint And I'm sorry for my camera shaking. It's attached to my table. So. But you're going to want to do this on the outside too. Because that black is going to show through the white. So. You just want to lighten it up as good as you can. And then we'll go from there. Now, if you don't want to sand it, there are other ways to do it. I'm going to show you. So, this is basically what I did. I just wanted to get it cleaner so that it's easier to do. But I'm going to show you the other way to do it. And that's. I got some ivory paint so it's darker than the white but lighter than this so we're gonna put this on it first as a top coat you could also do a just a plain more than one coat of paint until you get it covered sometimes it takes three times you know just pin so I'm just gonna show you so we're just gonna paint over this sorry Obviously, I still have a little problem with my breathing since I got sick. So, I'm just going to paint over the stuff. And I'll show you what it looks like on the one that hasn't been sanded at all also. But, I just want to do this to show you. But there are more than one way. So, as you can see, it's covering it pretty decent. So, let me show you this version, too. So, you're just going to go over. And this is just to dull those down so that when you paint the other color, it should cover it good. So... So 
see how it's covering it? it you can still see through it with this, but it does help it to... It's going to make it easier to cover it with the paint color you want to do. But like I said, you can just keep painting with the color you're going to use until you get it covered. Sometimes I could take three or four coats. It's not a big deal because it will get covered. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And I'm going to use a bigger one. I just wanted to show y'all, you know, basic. I'm going to use a bigger brush because I'm going to be covering all of it. So it doesn't matter if I get it somewhere. Else. So just go through and paint this. Because the sanding will take a lot to do. So you can do it this way. Now, this, I actually saw these and I had a different idea to do, but I couldn't, I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to execute it. So then, you know, like I said, this is July. And a lot of people do Christmas in July, so I just figured, why not a Christmas one, Christmas themed one. And this does not have to be perfect because this is just a coat to cover what's already there so that it makes it easier to paint the colors you want. So don't feel you have to do something special with this. It doesn't even have to completely cover it because this is not your final color. If you do the coat, if you do this coat before you actually paint it. So. See, it's already looking better. So just take your time and do this and then I will show you what it looks like when it's finished. Alright, as you can see they are dry and it's pretty much covered up. That is the option if you do want to do a base coat of something that will make it easier to paint. So now I'm going to move on to my blue colored which is like I said pool and I'm going to paint. The inside. of this. And if you don't want to do snowflake, you could turn it into a reef too. It's the same principle. I would just do maybe green and black with red accents green would be on the inside, the black would be the outside border, and you could do a reef instead of a snowflake, but, which is one of the things I was thinking about doing for this, actually, 
I was debating on if I wanted it to be a reef or a snowflake. And I chose snowflake. And if you don't want it to be a hanging piece, I can show you other stuff. If you don't want it to hang, if you just want it to maybe sit on the table, I can show you what you can do with that too. So, but let's go ahead and start painting. Now this blue is one of my favorite colors from Waverly. I used it on my last video for the sky, but I love this. This can be used for water, sky, anything really. I, I just, it's such a pretty color. So there that is. Now we're going to do all the rest of the other six circle uh, hexagons or whatever you want to call them the same way. Alright, now we're going to do the edges and we're going to paint the white color. And you're going to do the side too. So you're going to do all around. And again, like I said, you don't have to use these colors if you don't want to. If you want to make a reef instead of a snowflake, you can use different colors. this covered so I can show you the difference in the colors okay so that's the white and that's the cream can you see the difference I can see it from here I hope y'all can too so cream or ivory and then white so you're just gonna do that to the whole to both of these and cover up the paint you paint it first to help And you might have to do more than one coat. It just depends on how good it covers. So, that is what we're doing right now. So you just do that for all of it. All right, after you're done painting it and it's dry, you might want to go back and touch up some spots on the blue because you might have got some white on it. And you just want to make it look neater. 
So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just touch up a few spots. I'm not going to do much. Just where I felt I might have got a little too much white. Alright, that's fine. So we're just gonna let it dry now and then we'll move to the next step. Alright, now that it's dry, we're gonna move on to the next step. And I, I just want to show y'all something. If you don't want to make it into a hanging decor piece, you could take little figurines and trees and stuff, and you can glue them on there standing up. And then that way when it's sitting on the table, it's got you can still see it go without having to look. You know what I'm saying? So that's an option too, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to be doing the stickers like I said I was going to do, but I did want to show y'all that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm going to glue the stickers on there. You don't have to do that. You can just stick them on there if you have stickers, but I want to glue them on there to make sure they stay. So that'll be the next step. So I'm just going to take... And I'm going to glue my stickers on here. Just so that I have no problem with them falling off. And you can do this any way you want. You do not have to copy exactly what I'm doing. I just thought it would be cool to do it this way. There are so many different ways you can do this. You can do little scenes. You can paint them on there too with stencils or just paint if, you can, if you're good at painting. So just remember that. But I decided I wanted to use stickers. My glue is deciding to give me a headache. So, and make sure they're all going in one direction because you don't want to accidentally put them in two directions and then when you put it together, they're upside down. You know. So make sure you put it together like this so it's ready. y'all can see it good I just thought this would be a fun cute idea and this is something kids can help you with if you have kids this would be a fun project for them to help even if it's just sticking the stickers on there and design it the way they want it to be designed but it's not hard to paint and glue and all that so this was like I said a fun project for the family I don't know why my blue pen's acting like that all of a sudden
and they're they're all stuck together. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these two together to make the snowflake. All right, to do that, we're gonna just, I'm using hot glue and I'm gonna say again, y'all can use something that's stronger, but I just wanted to show y'all how to do this, so. But if y'all think the hot glue won't stay, y'all can use something else like E6000 or the, um, what's that glue called? The flex glue I use, but I just wanted to show y'all how to do this real quick. So it is now together and now we're going to do the, uh, hanger. All right. So I'm going to cut it here. And then I am going to, I'm going to use some of this double sided tape too, but I'm going to glue the hanger on there, like so. And I'm going to add the double side tape just to help stick it to and see how this works. So. And attach it. And then I'm going to stick it there like so. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And it's a little bit too much. Give me a second now. Alright. So there it is. It is done. I'm happy with it. And I will say again. If you don't want to do a hanger, you do not have to do a hanger. You can put 3D standing up and do a table and you can put a candle in the middle and it's the same effect. But I think this came out absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy with it. I hope y'all like it too. And let me show y'all it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it looked great hanging in any home. Alright, so I had fun making this project. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. If you did, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And it lets me know that y'all are interested in what I'm doing. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!